I'm Aspen. And this is your Monday Report. I'm Lane, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Augie Chappas, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Sophie, and this is your Monday Report. Hey Vikes, I'm Emery, and this is your Monday Report. The Letter Jacket Man will be here tomorrow during lunch. Also, if you want to participate in the Vikings United Unified Sports bocce ball season, you can sign up in Mr. Cromie's room or Mrs. Alker's office. There's a key club meeting tomorrow morning in the library. The cheer team qualified for state, and on Wednesday, they will have a showcase for their routines. Make sure to come cheer them on at state this weekend. It's warmed up. Let's see if it'll stay that way. Here's Josh with the weather. Here's your forecast headlines for your weather. You can see we're looking at in the next few days staying mild before rain returns by Wednesday. And then a much cooler blast of air arrives for the end of the week. So let's first take a look at our temperatures tomorrow. We're tracking temperatures in the morning in the mid to upper 30s, so not even as cold as this morning. But check out these afternoon numbers. Yeah, those are mid 60s, so mild weather for tomorrow. And that continues into Wednesday as well. But the difference on Wednesday is that there will be more showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm. So here's the picture by 6 o'clock. You can see that white star is Topeka. Some showers around in the state and in terms of what we're looking at the main time frame for this is from the afternoon through the evening and into the overnight hours when we could see a quarter to a half inch of rainfall for context it's been nearly one month since we last had a quarter inch of rain from a single storm so we could definitely use the moisture and that looks to be on the way as we head toward Wednesday then the colder air settles in and that sets the stage for a possible rain snow mix on Friday now the amounts are still uncertain and we can't nail down the exact timing just yet so stay tuned throughout the week as we get closer to Friday. Seven day forecast shows that mild weather over the next few days. There's the rain Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. We do start getting cooler on Thursday with 53, 42 Friday with the rain and snow, and then slowly rebounding throughout next weekend as highs return to the upper 40s and lower 50s. Now, looking ahead to next week for Thanksgiving, an early look, an early look on things shows below average temperatures and above average precipitation we may just have a storm system near thanksgiving more details on that still to come now emory back to you thanks josh today is monday so we have another episode of counselor's couch make sure you check out the website to help others or yourself stop vaping hey vikes i'm back with another episode of counselor's couch and mrs ross is going to give us an update for the week all right on today Monday during lunch. The Navy's going to be here during lunch and also during career and life planning time. On Wednesday, the Army will be here during lunch and career and life planning time. And on Wednesday, they'll talk about how to fund your education beyond high school. It'd be a great lesson even if you're not interested in the Army. So that'll be held in the Counseling Center in our conference room. Um, Wednesday, K-State will also be here at lunch, so check them out. And we're giving the Washburn Tech entrance exam on Wednesday afternoon. So if you haven't signed up and you're interested in going to Washburn Tech, please do so in the counseling office. There will be one more test this year, uh, December 9th. So you have another opportunity if you miss this one. Friday, Job Corps is going to be here, and they will help provide you with some job opportunities beyond high school. Check them out at lunch. And last we have a website we'd like you to check out. Have you started to vape or do you have friends that have and you think they ought to quit? Well then go to teensmokefree.gov and check out some ways to stop vaping or keep from vaping. All right, thanks for the update. Thanks Mrs. Ross, good luck to everyone on their tryouts tonight.